Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're over in Grand Teton National Park. We're out for a hike. But what I'd like to talk about today is an experience I had this morning using the brand new Tesla CCS adapter. Now, as you know, Tesla has their own proprietary uh, connector. The standard used by all the other electric car manufacturers is called CCS. And it's a, a huge connector. And up until just recently, uh, you couldn't charge a Tesla using this other system. And to be honest with you, there hasn't been any need for it because uh, Tesla chargers are just more convenient. There's more of them. It's so easy. You just drive up your Tesla, you plug it in. You don't have to worry about any kind of goofy payment or authorization. And it just works. It's, it's beautiful. It's simple. <laughs> and absolutely the best charging system that we have here in the United States. But, that being said, there are some areas, especially out west out here, where we're lacking Tesla superchargers. And there are just some places you can't get to and you can't go. But now with the uh, Inflation Reduction Act that was passed, there's going to be a whole bunch of new chargers built across the U.S. And they're not going to be Tesla superchargers. They're going to be the new standard, the CCS standard. And to have one of these adapters may or may not be advantageous depending upon where you live. But I do know that there are probably, over the course of the next three years, there may be more CCS charging stations in Wyoming than there will be Tesla connectors. That's yet to be seen. So. I went ahead, I went out, when these became available here last month, I bought one. And uh, I wanted to give it a try today to see how it works. So, right now, <laughs> the closest CCS charging station to me is in Jackson. And uh, it's only a 50 kilowatt DC fast charging station. So we went to try it out. Exit only. It is a peanut. You never know exactly what you're going to see here. Is it here? No. There it is right there. It says available. So this is the uh, CCS adapter. It's pretty dark in here. You may not be able to see it. This is the Tesla connector on this end, and this is the CCS connector on this end. Let's put this in here. Let's see what happens. To get started, sign into the ChargePoint app. Okay, it says plug it in. Let's see what happens here. See if it turns green. It's trying to authorize. Oop, it's green, so we are charging. Now this is only a 50 kilowatt hour DC fast charger. We don't have any of the higher ones here. And uh, so we're pulling 47.9 kilowatts. Yeah, we, get, we got a BW. Yeah, we can talk to this guy a little bit. We'll give him the charger if he needs it. What's that now? I said if you need it. Yeah, we're gonna. We'll, we'll, we'll let you have it. Well, there's there's more than one, right? I think I'll, I can use this guy. No, it says no. it's out of service. Julie, let me see okay. if I can figure out how yeah. to disconnect this thing. So we have yeah. to stop up the charge. We'll Just, stop it. You can have it. Okay. It's, it's different for us. Stop charging, yes. So do you guys have a charge point account? Or are you just paying? Uh, no, paying? this is a free one. It's free. It's okay. free. Yeah, cool. the town of Jackson's paid for it. So now I got to take this out of here. I do that. Yeah, we just wanted to plug in to see if, for some reason, we needed something at some time. We could. Well, there are places in Wyoming where they won't have Tesla chargers. Now this is what can be hard to get off of this. These things go. are huge that they you have to use to use these. These are huge compared to ours. Awesome. This is a BMW. I just got it yesterday. 
Cool. Okay, so you're probably going to have to activate it with the app. On the way home. This is the first time we've ever used a non-Tesla uh, charge point. I mean, it's, it's so easy with a Tesla, you don't have to mess around with apps or anything. You just I've plug, got it, in. plug sure, it in. I need to get a charge point. Yeah, you'll have to install the app probably. So yeah, I was wrestling with the, you know, you got 14 different apps to try to figure right. all this out. And it, my, my phone was dying, my car was dying. Oh my God. <laughs> going, what have I done? <laughs> well, my experience with the Tesla adapter was real positive and I feel real fortunate. My Tesla Model X is a 2021 and it's a newer model and so it'll work with the Tesla adapter. Uh, now these adapters won't work with all Teslas, especially the older ones, but I've been told that they'll be able to retrofit the older ones in the future so that these CCS adapters will work with the older cars. Well, this is October 2022 and there are 72 Tesla charging points in the state of Wyoming in 11 different locations. And there's only 22 CCS stalls in six locations in Wyoming. But they just passed the Inflation Reduction Act and the state of Wyoming is gonna receive $24 million in funding to build CCS charging stations. Now, I don't know how much it's gonna to cost to build each CCS charging station, but I'm hoping that they can get at least 25 different locations with that money. And with four stalls each, that's at least 100 more charging opportunities in the state of Wyoming. Well, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informing or entertaining. If you have, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Until next time, be safe and be kind, and I'll see you in the next video.